Yo, man, I'm back with another video, man. Part five, you already knew it was coming, right? You already knew. Part one through four, if you're a beginner learning Studio One, tap it. You gotta subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash the like button, like. <clears throat> Look, for beginners, man, mastering is not as hard as you might think. What is mastering? Pretty much you just wanna get the volume right. You just wanna get the levels right, uh, Any type of pulse effects, any, you know what I'm saying? You just wanna get it right. Uh, I'm about to teach you real quick how to export. Uh, let's do that real quick. So, go to Studio One, the session that we was already at. All you wanna do is make sure with your looper bar that uh, everything's looped. So we got from right here in the beginning all the way to the end, right there. Now I go a little bit over, so it's like a few seconds of just quietness, you know what I'm saying, transition uh So I just add a few seconds, it ain't nothing. And then once you got your looper bar set, we're gonna go to, uh, let's go to export mix down. This is just gonna get your song out of Studio One, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, click the three dots, and we're gonna choose where we wanna save it. I'ma just do desktop, click open. We're just gonna call it mix down, leave it mix down, whatever. And then uh, do not publish for me, but you could publish to SoundCloud, send it to Notion, and Presona Sphere. Shout out Presona Studio One for giving your boy Sphere for a year. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, look, MP3, that's what I like. That's what I like. <laughs> but you might like Wave. I don't know. So, I mean, depending on the quality, uh, Wave is obviously a better quality. So, some more higher f uh, file size. So, But if you're using Presona Studio One Pro, which I'm on five, not artists, then you can use any type of format. And then sample rate, if you want it like high, high quality, 48 hertz, kilohertz, whatever. And then if you want just like the standard industry quality, 44.1. Constant bit rate for show, bit rate 320 for that quality. You know what I'm saying? The higher the number, the higher the quality, yeah. All right, look, next one. Uh, between loop, just like we said it, between the loop. And then uh, we're good. Leave everything else the same. Click OK. And then there it go. Like, it's going to the desktop. Now we just did our song. We got it out. And I say that after this, we about to do the mastery. I'm about to show you straight from this session. Be like, what? Yeah, straight from this session, baby. We about to get the master. All right, so boom. It pops up automatically. Uh, also, it's right here in the desktop. Now, with the ma now you can take this, do what you want. If you don't care about mastering or anything like that. But let's go back to the session, Studio One. And then go to Song. And go to Add to Project. All right? Go to new project. We're going to title this. Let's just call it uh, my album. All right. I was going to do my EP, but I already saved one as like my EP. And I don't want to be like my EP parentheses two. You know what I mean? So my album, choose where you want to save it. I'm going to just leave it there in the projects. Uh, New computer, so I'm not really too worried. I got an external drive if I need to say. And then click OK. And then it's asking you, do you want to update your mastering files? Basically from the song that we just did. Yeah. So it's updating. Updating meaning if I were to change the volume, let's just say turn it up. Um, it's going to update. It's going to ask me, do you want to update? So it just updated. Let's just say I add another track. Let's just say I add an effect. Anything that I do to that song that I go back and do, it's going to ask me to do on an update. Now you can see, click OK. You see this wrench up here? It's silver, like a normal wrench. Y'all y'all call it white, but that's silver. You know what I mean? But it'll turn red. So let's just double click the song. Takes you back to the song. 
and then uh let's just turn up the beat a little bit from 8 to 7.0 and then save it make sure you save it all right save it just i just want to show you the updates how it works how we're between song and project now go back to the project tab as you can see the red wrench it said you did something and all i did was turn it up so let's double click and it's updating as you can see the clip is there because i turned it up but it updates anything that you do it's gonna say do you want to delete it nah so i could go here it says successfully did it and the wrench is silver again or white and as you can see the track is right here so let me zoom in the track is right here now i can double click and name it you know song one right and uh i like doing it this way because you can just drag and drop it in but you don't have the power of the session like anytime you make changes this is great when you're trying to do like an ep or album or project because you want to make sure that you, anything that you do is updated here i can't update it you can see it's just a wave file right here so you can do it like that but i recommend not so let me just right click when you right click you could remove track disable track show it in your finder or your windows um bounce track right normalize it do all that but let's get into the nitty gritty so with the song that i already did what we're trying to do is see levels we're trying to keep it at like zero right so i'm gonna play it and you won't hear nothing i'm just but i can hear it but you guys can't hear it so there's different uh charts that you can see the volume now on like the octave this is the low so dang man i can hear it so loud bro hold on i'm trying to think of a way i can all right i'm just gonna have to hear it and endure it but uh actually you know what i'm just gonna turn my you know what i'm saying all right so look there's a way you can do it you see all this this is the uh the lows which is this is a pretty balanced track um you want to play it at the loudest part obviously only recorded vocals if you guys are watching part four you see how only recorded vocals right here so over here this is just music so i don't play that only the loudest parts of the song and then you can see the octave right here if you want to change it to this you can do it like this in bigger blocks the lows all the way to the highs highs to the right lows to the left right so why do we look at that just because when we're going to eq it you want to make sure that it's uh if you got to eq it you want you want to know what you want to eq the lows or the highs and then this is the most important part the peak i don't like it on peak r ms i either do it on k4 i just like k14 and you're looking for it to go into the red and mine's ain't going into the red at all right so let's just say i add another track i'm just going to do it just for the fun of it go to a beat and just drag over like you're doing another song pretty much just pretend this is another song right i dragged and i dropped it under there i'll just call it song two all right now song two i'm gonna play it and you can see it's much louder right here so with song two i click song two you can click it there or click it up here and this section right here where the inserts right here where the loudness information is shown this is going to be um where you control each song so like you click browse you can drag effects to this part just like you can in the uh like the song part like when you're creating a song so like if i want to drag uh a pro eq i know i got pro eq on here so right there pro eq and i don't want to drag it on every song i just want to drag it on this song boom right there so now song two has pro eq and i can make adjustments as needed whatever i need to do right so if i click song one the pro eq is gone click song two the pro eq is there same thing for volumes this volume is kind of loud right so let me take off the pro eq because that's not important right now for this song what i'm trying to do um I'm go to the loudest part of the song and I'm gonna get that red out. So I'm gonna turn the volume down of just the song right here. This turns down the volume of the entire master. I don't want that. 
So we ain't messing with that. Let me put that back at zero. Cause I'm tripping. All right. Right there, baby. Turn it down. I'm tripping. You see that? Kind of right where I want it. Right there. So we need to get this song, track one, click that and get that into there on the loudest part. See how it's there? We're pretty much, we're there. It's a little, probably a little too loud. So let me turn down a little bit on there. Now, that's how you control the volume. You can see the, if it's out of phase right here. Um, you could also drag over phase meters. Let me just open up the uh, Studio One effect so you can see PreSonus right here. All right, so when it comes down to effects, the number one effect that people use when they're doing uh, like mastering is a limiter, especially in Studio One. With their limiter, it's, it's off the hook. So you see limiter right here? Just drag and drop it under the post, not inserts, under the post. That way, it's like after all the effects, it doesn't interfere with none of the effects. It's just, it's the, it's the post. It's what's, what comes the latest. And then click default. And what, zero, zero limiting? Got to make sure that it stays at zero. So even though it looks like it's at four right here, it's going past zero, that's because we're on K14. If we were on the peak right here, you'll see that it's not to zero yet. I just like to see the red so I know if it's, if it's too loud, you, that's why I like 14. Um, so the limiter is on all of these now on the master. The limiter. So it makes sure, just like I showed you in part four, the limiter makes sure that you don't clip in the red. Uh, you can also check out my other videos on that. Then there's like, you know, dynamic effects. If you want to throw that on each track, you know what I'm saying? For like mastering presets and stuff. There's all types of stuff. I'm not going to get into that, but... Once you're done doing what you do, uh, and you got it all set, I'll make another video on mastering. I'll get more into it. I just want to show you the gist of it. You could create like your album name. So my album, and you could add as many songs as you want. Then you go to digital release. It's not song export mix down like the last time. So we go to digital release, right? And here's what's lit. Let me turn me back up so I can get a little bit. I can't hear myself. All right, look. So you check which songs that you want to check. So I'm just going to check them both, right? And then you, same thing, you choose a location. Uh, I'll just choose desktop again. The format, same thing. MP3, I'm going to go 48. Constant. Bit rate, hell. Yeah, I wasn't even going to say hell no, but I had to cuss on that one. Hell no. That'll sound like trash. If you want to hear how it sounds, just bounce it. <laughs> All right, leave that the same. Yes, leave this the same because it's going to add the track names. And then again, you could publish and then click OK. And now it's bouncing my mastered album or EP or sh your track. If you just want to do a single, you can do this on a single. But um, as you can see, it takes a little second and then it's about to just fly like that. So look, as soon as it pops up, and it's done. That's it. So I would do my research. I would wa I would watch more videos on mastering. But look, the gist of it, it's not too much about adding any more effects. As much as it's really about just trying to keep that volume right. Like you want to make sure that when someone plays your song, no matter where it's at, if you're in the whip, if you're in the house, if you're on your iPhone, no matter where you're at, if you're on a computer with some whack ass desktop speakers it gotta be good so uh you want to make sure that when someone clicks your next song it's at the same level people ain't got to turn up and down the volume all right so as you can see it popped up um let me get this out the way and as you can see right here artist my name so my album is ready to go right i'm ready i could drag and drop i can put it into where i'm trying to go and upload so that's it, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it, man. We did it. That'd be part five. If you have not watched parts one through five now, you got to go check it out. I hope I helped somebody. Like, here's what I need you to do. A lot of you guys ain't subscribed. Let's be honest. A lot of y'all ain't subscribed. But if you subscribe, I'll appreciate it. If that means anything to you. You know what I'm saying? I do this for free. I don't even get paid. But I do this for you. Because I don't want you to be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on studio time. 
I show you guys everything that you need to get your stuff set up for your home studio. Be a blessing to me. Leave a comment. It's on Zell. I'm about to just keep this thing moving, man.